fighting out of the white corner, Brian Alabato, the boss, 28-year-old fighter from Argentina, 177 centimeters tall. This fight taking place at 69 kilograms with a professional record of 47 fights, 35 wins, 12 losses. He is both the national champion and a Muay Thai champion of Argentina. And his opponent, Payak Samui, Luk Chao Purong Tom, 27 years old, from Krabi in Thailand. 107 fights, 84 victories with 19 losses and four draws. A former Thai fight champion at 72.5 kilograms two years ago in 2018. He won that tournament. Did Payak Samui. Had a great year last year. Mm, I was thinking I say if we could call him Payak the Roller Coaster Samui. <laughs> it's a good nickname for him, it really is, because, you know, the ups and the downs throughout his Thai fight career especially has been uh, pretty significant. We've seen him knock out many an opponent. We've seen him lose by knockout. He throws everything behind his shots. But he does get hit, and we've seen him get knocked down. Like I said, last year was a bit of a turning point in his career. He seems to steamroll everyone. Everyone had him. Much more clinical, much better in his decision making. And he went undefeated in 2019. Well, he's undefeated in 2020 <laughs> as well. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, everyone around the world taking losses by Aksamui undefeated. Fourth fight here tonight at Thai Fight New Normal, the first event of 2020. And if you're joining us on Channel 8, thank you. The first time at last, yes. Thai Fight gets to broadcast on Channel 8. Feels so good to be back. Doesn't it just? I'll wear all the masks <laughs> just to be here. You've just joined us. The first fight of the night, Samming Dead, Lung Chao Perong Tom, won by a decision. Kopikart, the deputant won via knockout in the first round, and Petchi Jia won via doctor's stoppage, also in the first round. Won by absolute blending. <laughs> Four fight of the evening. Thailand versus Argentina. In the black corner, Payak Samui, Luk Jao Perong Tom. And in the white corner, Hello. Brian Alabato. Payak Samui. From Krabi, even though he is the, known as the uh, Sproller Coaster, <laughs> and that, and also the Warrior of Samui, he was born in Krabi. And uh, interestingly enough, Brian Alivato actually trains out of Bull Muay Thai in Krabi. Is that a, is that a, a derby? I don't know. Can you call it that? I see the football side oh. of you is coming out already. <laughs> you should probably ask uh, Brian if he plays centre back. I think Brian's brother is also a Muay Thai fighter, Juan Alivato. And he cites him as uh, one of his biggest influences in his career. Okay, here we go, folks. Fourth bout of the evening, Pike Samui versus Alivato. This might sound harsh, but Pike Samui looks like he's uh, been eating during the year. I was just going to say, <laughs> that body looks familiar to me. <laughs> oh, good elbow there from Pike Samui. Alivato moving in. Right kick to the body there from the Argentinian. That's Payak Samui throwing everything with that elbow. Nice low kick there. Alivato looks in tremendous shape. He's clearly oh. not on the same diet as us. Maybe the gyms were open in Argentina. <laughs> Two good low kicks there from Alivato as well. Oh, good left high kick. Wow, that snuck in there. Took it though, did Alivato, even though sure we connected. Alivato trying to sweep Pike Samui off his feet. Good left kick to the body there from the Thai fighter. Alivato looking for the left kick, but Pike Samui uses the right and then moves him with the elbow, but misses by a mile. Another nice low kick from Alivato and a nice shot to the body there from Paya. So back and forth we go here in round one. And again. I'm telling you. Payak's not checking those kicks. No, he's not. He's, he's... Oh, good elbow there from Payak Samui. He's going to ride or die in this first round. More body shots there from the tie. 
the kick to the body. Oh, oh my goodness! And the right hand, right to move down. And straight back up. The roller coaster, the right roller again. coaster, continue. Oh, Alibato connected with that combination as well. Bayek might be in trouble here in round one. And the left kick to the body there from the Argentinian. Right to move, trying to dig those toes into the body of Alibato. There's the right hand. One, two from the Argentinian, Ali Wato. Fights move, moving in with that elbow. Doesn't find his own, but that right hand does, Adam. This is a crazy first round. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Boy, have we missed this. <laughs> Outside kick, good technique there from Ali Wato. Ali to looks good, man. He does. And, and I tell you what, the left leg of Fights move is being chewed up by those right low kicks of well, Ali Wato. He's only got himself to blame. He hasn't checked a single one of them. Pikes move, leaving that chin out. Downward elbow for Pikes move, but Alibato again, there's a blink. Alibato using a much more diverse pattern of striking, changing levels, using his low kick, going up high. He blocked that one. Good up a couple of ten, and then look at that. He blocked that one. No. Whereas Payak is just doing that typical oh, one shot. Oh shot my goodness. Knee. Stunning left knee there. Oh my Pikes goodness. Out of nowhere, Adam, out of nowhere. He's got that smile on his face, like he knows what's up. That's what, that's what he does, he throws those home run strikes. Wow, what a first round that was. Here at TIE Fight, new normal. Look at some of that wild action in that first round. There's the left knee that came out of nowhere towards the end of that round that put Alibato down and, and really made that first round way more interesting than it was before that. It was really going all Alibato's way. And there's that right hand that knocked Payak Samui down earlier in that round. So both fighters scoring a knockdown in the first round. But to be honest, the difference was though, Alibato was counted, whereas Payak was just told get, to get back to his feet. So I don't know if that will sway the judges. Interesting. I don't know if that will sway the judges or not. Because I was just about to say, I still think Alibato won that round uh. because they both got a knockdown, but really, outside of the knockdowns, Alibato did much better work, in my opinion. I, I would go along with that. I know I'm going to lose you here, Aaron, with the baseball <laughs> reference, but <laughs> Payak Simone reminds me so much of like a Bryce Harper or an Adam Dunn. Basically a guy that's a home run hitter that doesn't care if he swings and misses a thousand yeah, times. I understand that. That's <laughs> and just, he just wants to knock the ball out of the park. Perfectly put. Acklets have come up from Pikes Louie. He must be business. A lot of swelling, a lot of bruising to that left leg. I don't know if the camera can pick that up or not, but Alavato did beautiful work with that low kick in the first round. It's really shown. Yeah, and unfortunately, Payak really just helped him by not checking any of those kicks. We talked about how he looked like he might have eaten a little bit over the break. Well, he was eating low kicks in that first round as well. But it was Alibato who was... Oh, the cracking left elbow from Alibato. Payak just eats that as well. Right body shot there for Payak to move. Right hand there, a sweet, you know. Oh, my goodness. Left hook there from the Argentinian. Falls it over the left kick to the body. Pike Smooey going to the sternum. We've got a potential fight of the night brewing here in front of us. Inside calf kick there from Alibato who blocks that elbow nicely. Over the top of the right hand as well from Paya. Pike Smooey, he's got to be thinking he's about that body. He's bleeding right? terribly, Aaron. He's got a oh, cut he has. around his left Good spot, eye. Adam. Good spot. And that's. That spurred Alibato on. Oh, beautiful right elbow there from Pikes Mui, and that left kick to the body. Alibato going back to that leg. A real back and forth war right here at Tie Fight, boys and girls. Beautiful left shot to the body. Oh, he's again. really hurting him to the body, and then he goes up top and hits the chin. So while the blood streams down the face of Payak, he still puts together some beautiful combinations. Pikes are moving, trying to back him up, but misses with that elbow. Good block there from the Argentinian. See, Pikes are trying to make way so he can connect back to the body. Looking for a left hook, but again, blocked. Alibato looked like he had elbow cocked there, but didn't release it. They both looked like, oh! 
That's just a slip. A lot of water in that corner. Yeah, good work, referee. Removing that budgie. Souvenir. That kick to the body there. Mike Smurri on, on the balls of his feet. Nice right kick. Good right hand there from Mike Smurri. Oh, beautiful right hand from Alan Guanto. But Mike Smurri eats it up. Both moving oh, in for elbows. My God. Both eating elbows. How do you score this round? Another good knee there from Ali Wacko. Talk about back and forth. Talk about a roller coaster round. Have you called it, Fred? Another outside kick from Ali Wacko. Looking for a spinning back elbow to finish the round. Another Woo! amazing round here at Tie Fight Bank of B. Well, I'd love to see some of these highlights again. Try to wrap my head around what just happened in that second round. It's absolute mayhem. It's an overhand right. There from Alabato. Well, no offense uh, to the replay guy, but <laughs> <laughs> I think you could have found some better clips. I mean, that that like round was insane. You just showed us all the stuff that didn't happen. I like the idea that there's a replay guy. <laughs> hey, replay guy. <laughs> Come on. Okay, folks. I don't know how the judges have scored this one so far. No, Aaron and I talked off air. Who won that last round? We decided that we won. Yeah. We all won that last round. But like you said, who won the first? I'm not sure either. I want to believe that Alavato won the first round. Second round was anybody's. A uh, little eye poke. Alavato not having it, though. Could be a case of you win the round, you win the fight right here. Very possible. Could be a case of this fight won't go to the judges. Little left kick there from Pike Samui. Left kick from Alibato. Double it up, nice. Inside kick to that tune up leg. Nice left kick to the body from Pike Samui. If it was based on visual damage, Pike's move will be losing right now because his face is swollen. And his leg. And his foot. And his leg is shooting up. Another left kick there. And a second from Alivato. Looking for that knee again that dropped him in the first round is Pike Samui. Yeah, I mean, I think Alivato's winning as well, just cumulatively. Oh, good right hand from Pike Samui. Over the top. Close second round, but a better first round for Alivato. That's how I see it. No. There he goes, back to that low kick, and I'm surprised he hasn't used more of that. It was so successful for him in the first. Kick, low kicked him so hard, I the moonwalk. Strange little pirouette there from Hayek. That's tired legs. Yeah, that he's definitely tired fatigued. Legs. Not just that. Oh! oh Pike's oh, gonna swing for that right hand. Another low kick to that chewed up lead leg. Nice defense there from Alivato. Hayek was going for that same knee. Sent Alivato down to the canvas in the first round. It's the glitch they go. So knees there from Alivato, connected with the right to the body. Right hand from Alivato, right kick from Pikesbury. Stepping knee from Pikesbury. This round is just begging for a... Oh! Pikesbury almost catch him as he's going down. I was going to say, this round is just begging for a signature strike to separate these two fighters. It's very close right now, it has to be. Good hands there from Ali Battle, but Ali caused damage to a very... Sh oh, good inside kick, that did. You can hear his corner, Ali Battle's corner, just urging him forward. They must know how close this fight is. And there it is. And the third and final round will go to the judges' scorecards. It's going to be an interesting one.
Congratulations, Pike Samui, look out for on top. Now we were taking a short news break here at Thai Fight, but don't go anywhere. Join us later, because we have more fights to come after the news. We still have.